Starting off my morning by whitening my teeth and watching you. I'm only on episode two of the third season, but it's just so good so far. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, hey what's up? My name's Danny, and today I'm going to be taking you through a day in my life in New York City. My favorite vlogs to film, your favorite vlogs to watch, but this one's gonna be a little different. Today is actually Monday, November 1st. Happy November, Merry Christmas. And on any other given Monday, I would be working. For those of you who don't know, I work at a tech company here in New York and I've been working there since December, which is crazy because that means I'm coming up on a year and it simply does not feel like it's been a year already that I've been working in this job. But in that year, I've only taken two vacation days and my company is generous enough to give us a pretty large amount of vacation days per year and I just simply have not used them. It's probably because we work from home so it's hard to justify taking a day off, especially when you're not going on vacation or something like that. But I have been stressed recently so I figured why not try and use up at least one of my vacation days before the end of the year and I'm just gonna fill today with doing a bunch of stuff that's gonna get me back on track in my life and also make me super happy and of course I wanted to take you along. Today's already gotten off to a really really good start. I woke up got myself ready, whitened my teeth, and watched a few episodes of season three of You. I so far like this season more than season two, not quite more than season one, but this show as a whole is just one of my guilty pleasure shows. I get so excited every time a new season comes out, so I'm living for it. But right now it's like 11 o'clock, and my first stop of the day is going to be Trader Joe's, because I have not done any grocery shopping in way too long. This is among the many things that I have been putting off for quite a few weeks now and this entire past week, I'm not even gonna lie, I ate out for pretty much every single meal, which is terrible and a massive waste of money. So I'm gonna head over to Trader Joe's and just do a full stock up that will last me obviously like this entire week and probably into the next and I just think that's gonna help get me back on track because I cannot continue eating Chipotle and fried chicken sandwiches for dinner every single night. It's just not good for my bank account. I feel like it's also been a while since I've done a super chatty vlog, so today I also want to dedicate to reconnecting with you guys. I'll respond back to a bunch of comments that I haven't already responded back to on previous videos, and I'm just gonna chat as much as possible in this video. But before we head out to Trader Joe's, I want to show you guys my outfit. Definitely a little weird that I'm wearing leather pants at 11 a.m. on a Monday, but here we are. These are from Aritzia. My shoes are my Jordans, my true pride and joy. I'm obsessed with them. And my sweatshirt is from Brandy Melville. And then I'm just going to take this purse from Princess Polly. successful Trader Joe's run. I didn't really end up getting anything too out of the ordinary. I really just needed food, so anything more than what I had was going to be fantastic. I got a whole bunch of avocados. I got some bread. My all-time favorite bread from Trader Joe's is the Tuscan pan bread. This is what it looks like, and it's just like unbelievable, honestly. I got stuff to make my favorite meal from Trader Joe's that I make all the time. It's essentially just a Mediterranean bowl. So I got some pita, I got their spicy hummus, which I love. I have feta cheese, and I just like throw some grilled chicken in there, and it's really, really good. I got my chili onion crunch for my avocado toast, which is so good. This thing has been sold out for such a long time, and honestly, it makes sense why, because it's really good, but they had just done a whole restock, probably because it's a Monday, so I loaded up on this, and I don't know, other than that, eggs, butter, 
some of the basics. I definitely feel a lot better now that I've done that grocery shopping because it means I'm probably gonna be spending a lot less money on eating at restaurants this week. And my next stop of the day is I'm actually getting a haircut. This is arguably the most exciting part of my day because I haven't gotten a haircut since February of this year. If you guys were watching my videos then, you know that that's when I got curtain bangs. And since February, my hair has grown out so much. I mean, this like, piece of hair used to be so short and it just, at this point, it's lacking a lot of shape. It's definitely super dead on the ends, so I need a refresh. I haven't been able to find a salon that I'm super excited about in the city, but the one that I'm going to today has amazing reviews and they were super accommodating, so I'm looking forward to it. But before we head out, it's like not warm outside it's probably like 62 degrees but it is definitely too warm for me to be wearing leather pants i was sweating on my walk home from trader joe's so i'm gonna change in to a different outfit really quickly and then we're gonna head out to get my hair done quick fit check before i run out i've been loving earthy tones recently so i wanted to put together an outfit that involved those colors both my shirt and my pants are from zara and then i'm just wearing my mid-top nikes and i'm gonna bring this purse with me that is also from princess polly like myself again because it's been so long since I've gotten a haircut I forgot how much I love the style on me and I already just feel like so much more confident if you guys are looking for a new salon in the city I definitely recommend that you go oh this lighting holy shit I definitely recommend that you go there and ask for Callie because she was so cool and just gave me such an amazing cut instead of going home and using the groceries that I just bought I'm gonna go and have myself a panini continue this self-care day and then we'll get back on track with meals that I can get out apartment for a very brief period of time because I'm gonna change my outfit again I'm literally gonna put on exactly what I was wearing earlier simply because it is now a lot colder outside the Sun has kind of started to go down and I am cold in what I'm wearing but while I get my stuff together and pull back out my clothes I can tell you guys about my next um, event of the day the next thing that I've been really looking forward to um, this is not a fact that you guys would know about me Unless maybe you watched my vlogs from when I went to Amsterdam when I was studying abroad But I have always loved Banksy as an artist I think his work is really cool and I went to the Mocha Museum in Amsterdam when I was there and was obsessed with it and for the past few months there has been a Exhibit in New York um, that is like all of Banksy's art and it's kind of like an immersive exhibit Which is super cool. So I bought tickets because they had an available time today and I'm gonna go to that. Right now it is 3.45 and my ticket is for 4 p.m. so I should probably head out but I'm really really looking forward to it. This is something that I mean I think the exhibit has been around since the beginning of summer and I thought it was more temporary and that I had missed my chance, which was unfortunate. But now that it's still here and it's November, I figure I just have to go. I also really enjoy going to museums alone. I think it's fun and especially something like this, I am just really looking forward to it. So literally gonna put on the exact same thing that I was wearing earlier so I can be a little bit more warm than how I am right now. And we're gonna head out. And we're off. You left me with nothing but agony I stuck by your side so happily We needed each other like a flower I know what is happening I'm up in the deal with Timothy Distracting myself, need a remedy At first I thought that she was sent to me What's happening? We started off ready and Daphne So good that it felt like a trap to me The girl in my dream like a fantasy But we've been caught out in reality We reached the pinnacle of apathy It must have been a victim of gravity Because it declined so rapidly I thought she was just like a masterpiece Cause you all I see in my gallery I should have had a better strategy Cause I was falling for you naturally But you've been plotting on me actually You left 
me with nothing but agony I stuck by your side so happily We treated each other like drugs Now I do not know what is happening I don't know why the second I left the museum I just had a craving for Toll House cookies So I stopped at Westside Market And I got myself a pack that I'm gonna bake later If you guys are in New York And you enjoy going to museums I definitely recommend that you go to the Banksy exhibit I thought it was so cool I'm really really happy that I ended up going I don't know how much longer it's open though So make sure to jump on it If it looked like something you would be into I would definitely recommend it Changed into yet another sweat set because apparently this is all I ever wear these days. But I am gonna make myself some dinner when I was at Westside Market getting cookie dough. I also got a box of mac and cheese. I really just said comfort today. Like all things that make me happy, all things that bring me comfort, that's what I chose to do. So mac and cheese it is. I also, since I got like a whole PR package from Truff a while back, I've been putting the truffle hot sauce in my mac and cheese and it's a game changer. Also like am I a psycho? Yes, but I just had the urge to watch some sort of Christmas movie and I'm not gonna go all out and put on like elf or something like that so i just put on the holiday honestly i don't even know if i've seen this movie i don't even really know if it's a christmas movie but it's it's gonna be my choice for the night and then after i make my dinner i'm gonna make some cookies you would think that it's december but in reality it's just november 1st so merry christmas jolly type Christmas movie like this is something I can watch in November and it feels okay So I ended up cheating a little bit and I did end up doing some work on my day off. Really all I did was enough to get me ahead for tomorrow because regardless if you, if you take one day off or like a whole week off, you're obviously going to be behind on some stuff. So I decided to schedule out some emails to send tomorrow and just kind of get ahead on anything that I can. Tonight after watching the holiday, Amanda and I ended up putting on Holiday, which is also on Netflix and it's like a Netflix original movie movie and that is like the definition of a feel-good movie. I feel like both of the Christmas Christmas movies that I watched today are good transitional Christmas movies because they're not as like I said earlier like holly jolly as some of the other ones are but they're enough to kind of get me in the spirit and because it's November 1st this is just typically when I decide to dive in regardless of how crazy that makes me but now we're kind of getting back on track with normal viewing for like early November and I'm watching you yet again so I'm almost done with this particular episode probably not the best thing for me to watch right before I go to bed but that's okay and I'm just like reflecting on this entire day and I could not be happier with my decision to use this as one of my days off especially after Halloween which was such a fun weekend I really needed this detox day in a sense where obviously I wasn't drinking and I was by myself all day and I was just doing very wholesome activities that make me happy and I feel like I am going into this week on a better note than I probably would have had I started work today. So all in all, I'm feeling great. I just realized that I never really told you guys about how my Halloween went. I did not end up vlogging this weekend. I'm so sorry, but quite frankly, I was just all over the place. I don't know if the vlog would have made much sense anyway, but it was a lot of fun. On Friday, I ended up going to a ticketed event with my friends at this place called the DL in the Lower East Side. Saturday, we went to a beer garden at night, which sounds kind of odd because usually that's like a daytime place, but it was super fun. And then Sunday, I went to the parade and now we're here so that's my little Halloween recap and honestly that's where I'm gonna end off this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to let me know in a comment down below it was definitely more chatty so if you like vlogs like this make sure to let me know and I can always do more of them or at least try and I'll talk to you very soon in my next video bye